Hey, Nigel. Did too hard, bruh. Super honored, man. Shout out, Nigel. Shout out, everybody here. Shout out, Unspoken. We in the A. Shout out to my boy G. This is what we drinking on G. The Reader. Make sure y'all get y'all some G. The Reader, man. Hit my boy up. For real. Yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of Unspoken Atlanta. I'm your host, Nigel Armani. It's your girl, Snook J. It's the kid, BMX. Yes, sir. This episode 13, man. 13 in the books. How y'all feeling, man? Temp check. Ooh, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> what that mean, Ash? What's up, Ash? Talk, Talk about it. Um, Long weekend? Yeah. But a good weekend, though. Shout out to all my sisters. I love you guys so much. Great time. Shout out to y'all. Um, yeah, and then today I went to a baby shower. You drank some more? I drank a little bit earlier, and I think that's why I'm still kind of down yeah. in, the, in, the, in the books. Um, that's, that's what it is. Yeah, I'm in shambles. <laughs> I'm like dying slowly. But yeah, so I mean, all in all, I feel pretty good um, outside of feeling hungover. Man, my phone is on 10 right now. What's going on with me, man? It's What's a up? Shirt, man. It's, on the, a shirt. it's a shirt. I'm on fire today, man. <laughs> Speaking of the Misfits, dog, how you doing, dog? How your week been? Man, I'm, I'm back on 10, y'all. Back, back on, on 10. 10. I'm back on 10, friend. Dude. Yeah, my boy, Um, we had a uh, funeral service for Dave yesterday. That shit was so dope, man. They laid it out like a real player for him. It was, it was too big, man. I feel like the whole city came out. It was so many people. It was... A, Couple of hundred, man. Really? It was, yeah, it was it was so deep, bro. That funeral line, you know, like the the cars the uh -huh. to go to the cemetery. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That shit was so long, bro. I know it had to be. That shit was like Trump was coming through the city, <laughs> no cap. But yeah, they they put them away real good, man. That's good. You know I'm saying, got them a nice tomb, like a king. Okay. You know I'm saying, let the doves go and stuff. Over all in all, it was a good good service. And I just feel at peace that he's at peace. Mm -hmm. You know, I, a lot of times I notice that after the funerals is when you really feel mm -hmm. better because mm -hmm. you're like, okay, you know, people get to speak and talk about talk about the good mm -hmm. things and mm -hmm. talk about his character and the person he was, and then you just like, you know what? Yeah, it's a celebration. Yeah, yeah. Ain't no need yeah. to be sad. Yeah, that's true. It was dope, man. I feel good. That's good. That's what's that's up, man. Uh, my week was good as well. Um, just a normal week, getting everything re uh, ready for uh, today, pretty much. Uh, work been good. Um, I ain't got really too much to complain about. Um, one of my cousins uh, is leaving to go to Japan for three years. So yesterday she had something for that. I was there for a little minute. Um, outside of that, I ain't been doing nothing though. What you going to Japan gym. for? She uh, she actually works in the. Uh, she she used to work in the I think the Navy. I want to say, yeah, the Navy. And so um, I think I don't think it's. I think she retired. or well, she's about to retire. Or it's either she got a job out there. But I know she's going for three years and she's going to come back for a year. She said that she might go back out there. So she the type that's like, she likes to like travel. Um, and this is, like, I guess, this is just a perfect opportunity for her to be able to, you know, do some abroad type shit. You feel me? So um, just family support. Them. You know, everybody got their own journey. So I'm happy for her. You know, it's always good to celebrate those type of moments with, you know, your family or whatnot. Um, I, uh, you know what's crazy? I do want to talk about something else though. So, uh, uh, Dave had his funeral the other day. My my aunt still hasn't been able to have a funeral. The reason is is because the the people that check your insides, it's like a hole. Like mm. it's like it's backed up. Like you know before you know before you go like to my the autopsy. I don't know. The, I don't. Know, it's, yeah, it's that, but it's some. It's it's something. It's a proper name for that though. Um. But so before they even get to the morgue, though, like, I guess they got to do, I don't know the, the proper procedures, but we just found it out, like, yesterday, like, we was trying to figure out, because I was thinking it was going to at least be, like, the day of tomorrow, something like that. Because she passed, um, like, the day after day, I think. The day after day, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like, she, she is, it's a hold up. So I don't know, I don't know how long that take. That might take an extra couple of days or so. Mm. Um, but yeah, so I'm um, still impressed with my family, and hopefully, you know, everybody feeling better. You know, so her mom is feeling better, but I know I want I know her mom wants to go ahead and get it over with. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to just hang off her head. But other than that, uh, I'm blessed, man. Happy to be here. Happy to be here. Hey, if you're an independent artist that's looking for a platform to showcase your skills, looking for an opportunity to shine, perform live from Unspoken Atlanta exclusive performances.
Um, hot spots this week. What's up, y'all? Got something? Uh, uh, Dogwood Festival too. Dogwood oh, Festival. Yesterday. Today. Today. That's my mom, man. Right now, matter of fact. Perfect weather for that. Perfect weather, man. That's a, that's the type of shit. I mean, you know what? I um. It was crazy, but when I first heard it, I thought that was like some like actual some dog shit, like some dog walking, like animals, like, like, a fe- like a dog festival, dog. You know, Till I had to do my homework on that shit. Like, this your first time hearing about that? Yeah, I ain't I ain't never been in that shit before. I don't really do festivals like that though. For whatever reason, like I I, I go to like different like outings, like block parties or like matter of fact, my homeboy they called me there about like a shit they do at P one Park. Like I think I, I took you to before. Like be a whole people people out there. Everybody got their own tents, grill. Shit like that, but I don't know. I probably went to like a wine festival maybe once, twice. You know, these, these days I'm kind of like not into like the big crowd thing like that. I go to like certain ones that I just be like, I gotta go to this. Yeah. But like being at all the festivals, all the big crowd events with hundreds of people, I'm just, I ain't been into it these days, man, because you know, there's so much crazy shit be happening, bro. Yeah. And, yeah. I just, and then I be at home looking at Instagram like, damn, and I was gonna go. Yeah. I'm always in the bed like damn, and I was gonna go. Yeah. And it's always some shit that pop on Instagram, like some crazy shit happen. Yeah. So I just kind of be settings. I feel you. Yeah, like, man. I be thinking the worst. Like I, I've go, I go, to, I kind of go to a lot of them, like one music fest and shit like that. You should think the worst. That'll keep your head and, on the swivel. But I still be, yeah. I just be like, I really don't need to be going with all these people. If some shit happen while I'm out here, boys, it's, it's over with. But what what got me that way traumatized is I went to, I forgot what COVID festival. Too. Not COVID, not for me though. For me, it was like I went to a festival with a. Uh, I forgot which one it was, but it was here. And Lil Wayne performed, and niggas started. Oh, we got trampled. Yes, I yeah. got niggas got. I got somebody, trampled. Somebody, you know how somebody shoot, really? everybody scatter. I got trampled, but I was luckily I was strong. I think I talked about this, but I think I was I was strong enough to get about that motherfucker. Like if I wasn't in shape, I probably would have been fucked up. Like niggas was on top of me, like I had to goddamn oh, push myself about that bitch and get back in the motion. Where was it? It was. You know the um what underground is? Uh huh. It's over there by. It's not the underground. It's it's by the underground. It's where, do you know they have like, uh, DTLR had at fashion shows and shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's over there. It was over there. Oh, in that in that uh, yeah, in the yeah, spot. That shit was yeah. bad. You know why niggas started shooting? Cause I didn't hear about that though. This was like a couple years ago though. Niggas started shooting because Wayne he was performing and niggas weren't really like fucking with him, which is crazy. He was well, he well, that was what he felt like he wasn't getting the love he should have got. So he was like, you know what? I'm about to just quit this shit. So he kind of like cut the set. When he did that, the motherfucker went crazy. The nigga just ga, 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 start shooting. All kind of shit went on. Was it inside <laughs> of a building or was it outside? No, it was outside. Mm. It, was, it was like in that big ass parking lot over there. Mm, okay, 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 okay. And um, okay. the crazy shit I saw though, the railing had fell, and the bottom of the leg went through this girl's leg. Oh shit! So she was on the ground with the shit through her leg. Oh hell! While no. people just <laughs> trampling over her. Oh fuck no! Well, she probably can't walk again. This shit was that. wild, bro. This shit was like a movie, nigga. But like that kind of traumatized me, and then I mean, Man, hell yeah, I no, I'd be going to, I'd be going to like mimosa fest. Shit. I feel like that's more I'm safe saying for like, anywhere was a thousands of people, nigga, yeah. is not safe. Yeah, I feel you. Because if something happened, it's, it's a problem, especially if you're in the middle. Because yeah. I was in the middle, like down by the stage. So you imagine you right there, you got to get through thousands of people to get to the exit. Yeah. So I had a couple of spots. So uh, the month of April, I'm gonna just name everything on this list. It's, it's a couple of spots that already don't, that happened already, like four four day. Atlanta Dog Walk Festival, uh, Atlanta Spring Wine Festival. That was yesterday. Um, R and B Mimosa Festival. Was that yesterday. was yesterday as well. Mm-hmm. Um, for May, May fourth, they got Taco and Tequila Fest. That's gonna be at the uh, historic Fort Ward Park um, from twelve to ten. Um, they got the art. Ar- 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 ten p.m. Ten p.m. Ten p.m. Yeah. yeah, they got an art and b r and b art show. Excuse me. Um, uh, May 5th at the West Side Coaches Art Center. That might be a vibe, though. That's all day, too. That's from noon to 10 p.m., too. Mm. Um, Atlanta Margarita Fest, May 5th, very next day at Atlanta Station. That's definitely going to be a vibe. That's from 7 p.m. to 2 a.m. That's my, That may be one of the ones, though. And then, mm. you, if you don't want to be there, I, I guarantee you, uh, Hobnob going to be popping yeah. that night, <laughs> for sure. Uh, Sweet Auburn uh, Spring Festival. That's in May, May 11th through the 12th, Historic Sweet Auburn District. That's free, matter of fact. Um, R&B Soul P- Picnic, West West Side Park on the 11th and 12th from noon to 10 p.m. It's a lot of shit. Caribbean Festival. 
Mm-hmm. Atlanta Jazz Festival at the end of the year. That's at Piedmont Park. That's where everybody be going. And then they starting to do like a lot of these spots like at Underground, too, which I'm starting to like, though, because it's a it's a R&B seafood festival at the um, Underground, May 26th. But it's a lot of it's a lot of little stuff. I kind of like how they starting to like find stuff to do with the area though, because before it was just that's where the homeless people just live. Yeah. So yeah, the fact that they even like bringing stuff around there, starting to put like actual like new stores. I was about to say it's there. a little daiquiri spot over there in the um, underground now that they got yeah. that everybody be talking about how it's lit. I can't. Hey, real quick, cut. I just wanna let me turn this plant because that leaf whooping your ass. Oh, is that bun? <laughs> she got that juju. She got that juju bun. <laughs> She got that, uh, <laughs> she got that juju, feeling. she got that juju, uh, boy in the day, dog, but I feel it, though. Um, what else I got? Uh, that's it? Y'all want to y'all end it off that? Yeah, I don't have any hot spots. Um, you just gave the folks quite a I few. got a hot spot. What's up? Talk to them. It's a dope-ass gym in Chester Bridge and Buckhead called PT Cross Training. Okay. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Y'all trying to get lit? Hey, listen, summer is, I forgot how many days away, but it's under 70 days away. Is it? It is. What's the first day of summer? I don't know. What's sure. coming, though? Summer coming. Mm. So if y'all need to get that body right, pull up the PT cross training off Cheshire Bridge. We got a lot of dope trainers, including myself. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's a hot spot. Atlanta hot spots. Hey. Y'all, shoot, we already know what's going on this week, man. Everybody been jumping on Drake, so Drake released his uh, his first response. Um, Who all been jumping on Drake though? Have I missed it? So it's featuring Metro Boomin. What did they say? What do you mean? The whole album's about it. The whole which album one? The late, we don't, the, we don't the trust you. you. We don't trust you. The whole album's about Drake. Oh really? The 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 hit song was I don't I I was I, I'm like that with like that with Kendrick Lamar who's also uh-huh. against him. Everybody that was featured on the album is is against Drake. That this oh. includes The Weeknd, Rick Ross. Oh. So uh, thank you for enlightening me. I had no clue. Yeah yeah. yeah. So this is like a week we I know some first I talk about it since it don't went viral, but uh, since, uh, actually probably since. It, the album dropped for real, but um yeah so and then the part two I still don't like you just dropped a couple of days ago yeah. and he had I think he had like ASAP Rocky on there he he talked about Drake like everybody on it so he's like basically Metro Boomin been said you gotta pick a side so but it's like the fact that you have to to me the fact that you have to jump him <laughs> lets me know how powerful he is that nigga Thanos right now nigga like you need all of the all of y'all gonna turn on him Rick Ross got like. 15 hits featuring Drake. Yeah. Drake gave. But what happened? Why is everybody so hating everybody, Drake? So everybody got different reasons on why they ain't fucking with Drake. Each person got a, each, each person got a different reason. Like, so so why, like, Metro, why Metro and Future did the album? So it goes to Future, for one. It starts with Future. Future's upset. Well, I told you this earlier, though. Future mad at Drake because uh, Drake did an album with 21 Savage. Now it's not it's not that he don't fuck with Twenty One Savage. He feels like I'm the one that gave you that, this hood stamp. I'm the one who put you on the map as far as Atlanta when it comes to when they did the mm. the album together. Mm-hmm. And that and he got a point though because at that particular time, yes, Drake was just beat Meat Mill, so he he was kind of on the on the high right there. But Future was coming off a three peat. I think he had dropped Monster. Mm-hmm. Uh, I forgot the other one. Mm-hmm. What was it uh, some, some Fifty Seven Nights? And, uh, and, and another 56 nights, 56 56 nights, nights. Yeah, and he dropped another one. And so he was on the high, too. So he felt like around that time, I kind of brought you into, you know, because everybody was, I guess around that time, he felt like everybody was calling Drake corny. This down the third, yeah, you beat Meat Mill, but you know, whatever, whatever. So he felt like he gave him that step. So he felt like if you're going to do any project with anybody in Atlanta, it need to be me. And if you're going to do something with, if you, if it's not going to be me, then it need to be nobody. But so like I told you earlier, in his mind, he feel like shit. If you're gonna do somebody in Atlanta, we need to do a part two. But you want to do a 
uh, uh, something with Savage, which that one was hard, but that's his reason. Metro reason, I, I don't, I kind, I think it's like on some Drake smashes his girl type shit. Like, did he? I think it's on Probably. some shit like that because it's like <laughs> that's like on some. You a producer, and then you he. I remember um, he was mad because he felt like uh, Drake and Twenty One Savage album was gonna beat his album out for album of the year for the Grammys, mm. and he ain't like that because he felt like he in his eyes he felt like they gonna give it to Drake because of the name Drake, but he felt like he had a better overall album. Album. The crazy thing about that thing is, you know, Metro and, and Twenty One Savage like this, mm -hmm. so they still like it's like it's like something where like Twenty One Savage gotta gotta like pull back because he cool on both sides. Both sides. You know, so, so that the, the Drake, I mean the the Rick Ross shit, I don't know why he got an issue with Rick Ross. I I, I don't know. I have zero clue because they got so many hits together, so Great many hits too. together. So I don't understand what that dynamic come from. Um, the weekend, I remember. I think Drake tried to sign the weekend when the weekend first came out. He put the weekend on kind of a little yeah, bit. Yeah, so I, they got like some shit, like some shit like that going on. Um, mm. You know, ASAP Rocky don't like him because Drake Rihanna. always because Rihanna. Yeah, um, but then he had Rihanna, be Rihanna before ASAP. But you know, he still be referencing her though. Like, yeah, Drake, he be, he be, Drake he be, gets he, weird. He, he, still be slick, he still be slick. This yeah, he do. Like, he do. Like, he do be slick. So sneaking on on ASAP. Mm. And Drake, you can't say nothing. I mean, ASAP really, he really went. Well, it's not even really about ASAP. He's really he, a house. He just, he just be talking about Rihanna still. He's a house husband. So you can't really, he like you talking about my girl bringing her up. I think one time at a concert, they tried to play her her song that he got with her. Work. He, it work. And he was like, nah, man, I'm going to let y'all sing. I ain't singing this shit. Like, say that shit like a yeah. concert. Oh, wow. Like, yeah, like, you know, he give, he really gets real light skin when it comes to Rihanna. Yeah, so. It's like everybody, but it's like, bro, y'all jumping on him, like, bro. For one, that's that let me know how powerful he is, like, and like he said, he he, all of them, um, all of them that we just talked about, their um, all the songs that they got number ones on is because of Drake. Mm. That's Future crazy. first number one, Drake. Rick Ross only number ones, Drake. Like Metro's Drake. Like that's I think Drake put Metro on honestly. He put he he gave him his first uh his first like hot one hundred song I think like when Drake when when he first came out but it's like a minute ago like 2015, 2014 type shit so it's like each one of them got like a different reason but I'm like what you mean I'm like bro he helped me y'all bro he really is giving y'all a hit like <laughs> that nigga posted the perfect meme in the story though because that nigga really moving like Uma Thurman. And fucking kill, and kill Bill. Bill. Yeah. That shit when she, when she was in the middle of all them yeah. niggas like, <laughs> yeah. like dude, the, that shit. But I'm was like, y'all oh, should be thankful, bro. Like, <laughs> she and, posted. And, she posted a, uh, a thing and said, "Do you need this?" Nigga, she posted the actual suit. Yeah. yeah. Did you look at the shit? Yeah, I yeah. Shit. It had the blood on it. Yeah. It's yeah. the shit from the movie. Like, yeah. I would have been like, hell yeah. Now, the, if he get the suit, he probably is about to do some. That should have so <laughs> You know, That's he lived crazy. for shit like this. That'd be hard. That's crazy. And then uh, Britt Ross talking about something. He got BBL, calling him BBL Drake. That shit trending on Twitter. Yeah. Okay. That's, cr that's crazy. No, he, I he, think said, he, get, he was saying he got the abs done in his nose. I think he did. He probably he, did. He I did think, get his I, abs I, done. I think he I did get me, his abs done. I wouldn't need a trip. But it's like, yeah, I guess. It's too much. It's like, what else can you really pick on him about, though? Like, at, at the end of the day, it's going to come down to rapping. So it's like. Y'all doing all of this, but at the end of the day, come down to rap. Oh, how y'all feel about J. Cole apologizing to, um... I ain't like it. I don't really care for it, but that's just J. Nah, Cole. That, nah, that, it, yeah. it, it, light skin not, shit. He that some, was he, weird. That, light skin he, shit. He, he, not, he not about that life, bro. He not about that combat. I think he life. really is, though. That's why I was like, was you just like, damn, this nigga really... He really, really ain't. Was, you see what he did? I know, but I'm saying, like, I feel like maybe he felt bad. Like, I ain't even really have to do you. Like, I hold the fuck out of you. He went crazy on this on that shit. Not really. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he snapped. He didn't go. He didn't have to apologize. Okay, he, if okay, he wouldn't apologize, say, he think, still have more of leverage. I think maybe he had another one in the chamber. He was like, you know what? No, let me not I, do it. I, I think he heard Drake shit and was like, I'm just letting him handle it. Who, J Cole? Yeah. Because the, the Drake this was hard though. It was it's the hardest out of all of them so far until uh, uh, until uh, uh, Kendrick come out, but. And Kendrick is the only one that can hold the flame. Yeah, they be saying Kendrick been holding this disc record for four years, bro. Still ain't put it out. What? That's what they saying for real. <laughs> you better drop that whole in. But honestly, though, that the the, the the this song with Drake sounds like he's young. It don't sound like current Drake. People thought it was a it was uh, AI. AI originally, but I don't. It, I, it wasn't AI because it sounded like an old Drake to me. Like a like you know I when think Drake just ain't mixed to something. I don't know what's going so on. It, it sounded mixed. weird, though, didn't just, it? He ain't like drop it like on DP. Yeah. Like, he ain't put it on Apple Music. He like just let. I think he leaked it on purpose. 
Mm. And let everybody listen to it. But the fact that Ross responded with a record in two hours let me know that it wasn't a, it wasn't a y'all. Because he wanted to respond to that. He, we ain't we ain't hear you ain't we ain't let you hear it, but he already responded. Who Ross? Ross, yeah. And the fact that Drake posted that meme, you know it was yeah. him. And he, <laughs> and he let and he let me know it's real, yeah. But also let me know that he that's like a like he he it's like a setup, like he did me meal. Like I'm gonna throw y'all a little bait, wait, let let Kendra respond or would be crazy, like I told you. I think if if Drake come out with a second record before Kendrick responds, then that's an issue, bro. It don't take that long, bro. I just feel hey, like it's, he really ain't bro. Drake surgical, bro. Yeah, that nigga is surgical when yeah. it comes to this rap beef shit. Yeah, that nigga is surgical. Like, I mean, it might be funny, but it's not a female. Like, like he re it's real tactical, like in his thought process, like, but. It's it's smart though, but you but you don't see too many males with that 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 tactic. That's why Ross and them fell into this shit. Like, cause they ain't he like see, real. See, Ross, Ross more on the petty side. He want to be just be petty and talk about it, and make I, jokes. You know, you know his his baby mama. Oh, Tia. I, I see why she the fuck funny they as were, hell, dog. I see she why the hell as they were. Bro, to throw it off, man. She is a little thought. I think she thought off. But I bet Tia you they was funny. Some sense too, though, I bet like, you they was funny as she, fuck together. The way I that nigga bet. cut up. Yeah, what? Nah, she just. Want, I think she went with the bullshit. But I think she got some sense though, bro. She, she got she, some sense, but I'm saying the way she talked. she's yeah, just like, she, yeah, you fat fuck ass nigga. Yeah, yeah. Actually, from Florida too. Yeah, I don't know. She got a. She be. She be really going crazy on Rick head though, and he don't say shit to her. Imagine them two arguing. Because she know too much shit. Yeah, that's probably why he don't say. Because she was. She had just came out with a video. She just came out with a video talking about the Diddy thing. The cop shit. No, she was trying to say Rick Ross and Diddy. Oh, that was old. No, no, she had a video before the cop. No, I know what you're saying. I'm saying like recently. I just seen one today when she was saying like I don't trust no cop. No, that's new. That's new. Mm. Well, Ashley talking about is something before that. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, that, yeah. That, they came out today. Like, oh, I, don't, I don't trust no cop. Oh, she I don't trust nobody but no mm -hmm. cop. Like, for, like same thing. No, she was like, I'll be a op. They say yeah, no I cop. Be, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's <laughs> like nuts. She like niggas dark between your legs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she is like the auntie funny bro. Oh she, bro. Wow. Yeah, she be she be going crazy for real, for real. Bro, that shit is crazy. But yeah, she, I think she just knows. So who much, all bro. got the, who all got to respond to this diss track? Only person responded was Drake. Who? I mean, was 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 Ross. But Kendrick got to respond. Kendrick, that's the main person. He's Kendrick got to respond one. to two people though. Who's who's the second person? Is? Drake and J Cole, right? No, uh, J Cole out of it. He, J Cole, he, he, he didn't already when he when you apologize, you don't he you bowed, bowed out. out. Yeah, he was at. Yeah, you too. Can't you make a record by him would be null and yeah, void. Maybe null and void. You already apologized. Like, make, try to make friends with him. Like, but Kendrick is the only one who 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 can really like go toe to toe with Drake out of all them niggas. Like you Ross, think so? yeah, Ross ain't nobody really. Ross more mm -hmm. Ross more funny than anything. Yeah. It ain't like oh that nigga just snap. What he said, you know what I'm saying? Like he just more like petty and funny, make jokes and shit. But on some rap, he, uh, Ross don't get battle rapper. Mm -mm. Yeah, he just funny. Yeah. But rap, rap, rap shit, Kendrick, Kendrick is the only one that can really like go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Drake right now. Other news, um, OJ Simpson died this week. Damn, OJ, the juice, the, the juice, fucking juice. Man. Um, Long little juice, man. I really don't got nothing negative to say about this man. Like honestly, like I feel like, you know, he I think he died of cancer. Um, I don't know. I think he was like seventy six or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. I didn't realize he was that old. Um, I, I can't remember how how many years he spent in prison. Though I think it was like eleven or twelve or some shit like that. So yeah, um, but it wasn't. But it, it wasn't. It, even, it ain't had nothing to do with the murder. He to, <laughs> but that, I think that was his karma. Yeah. So wait a minute. You think he did it? Because I don't think he did it. Yeah. I so think I think he. he okay. Sure. So the glove didn't fit, Ashley. I'm with you. And they had. But I do on. feel like it's kind of karma ish. And it's they had. Okay. And they had footprints at the scene. They weren't his. That was not his shoe size. I think he did it. Oh. Um, Why you think he did it? That's great. But the evidence. 
Ooh, boy, I wish I could find this clip. You know what? This is the clip I should have sent y'all. What? The nigga Judge Joe Brown broke this shit all the way down about all the evidence and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How this shit did not lead to him. Even really? if he didn't know, I just feel like everything like that had to do with it, what it took, the 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 that was a moment in in this in this country. That's like up there with like nine eleven, like Michael Jackson dying. <laughs> like type that like that type of Am I tripping? I'm for real. It's like I mean, was, I was I wasn't even when, you know, I, I, well, you we, talking we, about we, the case. Yeah, I was young. Well, as fuck. About, yeah, we was. We all was young. Like but I'm just I'm not seeing hella videos about the shit, like people watching the shit on TV. Yeah, it's like it's, the thing. that's like that's like how we gonna be uh, when they, when they when they do this young thug, uh, <laughs> this nah, young thug for uh, sure thing when they when they figure out what they gonna do. Hey, you everybody, ain't mama finna be watching you that. Wanna shit. hear this shit? Listen, how long is it? This shit, two minutes. Two oh. minutes? No, you play. I thought it was gonna say like fifteen. I'm like, hell no, you play play clip. That's it. They never should have brought the charge against him. And four of the chief detectives that were involved in that OJ case wound up doing time in California for planning evidence. And as a matter of fact, if you saw the entire trial, there are several instances where evidence was planted and it's recorded on tape. The main reason the American public thinks he got away with something is because there was a sleaze known as Nancy Grace who's still around, and that was her first reporting thing. And she hyped that and put a lot of falsity out there, and the American public believed it because that was the only person they were here. True. I saw the entirety of the evidence. <laughs> that nigga is funny, dog. That nigga is. The other nigga. <laughs> I don't see hella clips of that nigga. Their tongues pulled out of the slit with a pair of pliers. The fatal injury was a stab by a left handed person. OJ was right handed. What the? It went in. <laughs> And it did that damage. There were no peripheral strikes. The footprints and the blood showed that somebody with a size nine shoe, nine and a half shoe, and somebody with a size nine and somebody with a ten and a half were there on the scene and did it. One of my late brothers actually was the expert the state was going to call until he refuted it. The glove man, I know personally, the name is Richard Zuckerwar. He took a tracing of everybody's hand. It was a size large glove mm. that fit Furman. And OJ had a 2XL, which was way too big. Johnny Cochran knew that. So <laughs> if it does not fit, you must be quick. Quit. And you can see Furman actually plant the bloody socks on a video that the jury saw that Nancy Grace refused to talk about. The DNA evidence that condemned him, she said, if you saw what went oh, on, and I recorded all of it and looked at it, the expert oh, said, this doesn't exclude 96,000 people in the LA well, Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Did, did that give you a little more clarity? You still think you did it? I... <clears throat> Uh, I, f- I feel it though. First of all, I mean, the had a Colum- it, it, a like it don't even matter. Do you know, do you know the <laughs> It don't matter at this point because he, if he did, he got if away he with did, it. I mean, but I feel you saying. But look, yeah, them folks I had a Colombian necktie. What nigga you know doing that? Do you know what that is? Mm-hmm. Columbia Columbia neck neck yeah, I know what they're coming. That's how they like wrap pigs up, ain't it? No, nigga, a Colombian necktie is when they slit your throat and pull your tongue through your through your throat. Oh shit! How the fuck do you do that? <laughs> that's what the Colombians do, nigga. That's that's how they execute niggas. Ain't no nigga doing that. Yeah, they probably do that shit in Mexico too, probably. Ain't no nigga doing that. That's, That's wild. Really gruesome. Let's be real. Um, I don't know. Maybe he has. Some, maybe he hired somebody. Long, to kill him. Look, you ain't gonna let him off. Long live OJ. <laughs> yeah, long live OJ, man. Um, I wish he would. If, if that incident never happened, though, he probably would have been in the Hall of Fame. Though, honestly, I don't think he's in the Hall of Fame because of that. Is that but what it is? He was, was he still playing? No, no. In the league when that happened? No, he retired. But he had already like had did he got he got the numbers. As he far was definitely a Hall of Fame player. Yeah, he was yeah, definitely a yeah, Hall of yeah. Fame player, and he was the first like black person to be like um like commercialized. Mm-hmm. Like he was he did like the uh, the commercial at the airport. I forgot the, the person the the whatever I forgot. But yeah, he did. He used to do like commercials. First black person to do commercials as far as like athletes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bro, bro had the juice. For and sure. he, he was acting and shit like that. He was doing. He was like. He was on the way up. Like he had the the plan right after he got done, and it ended up, you know, going another way. But he definitely was one of the. Yeah, maybe he got somebody to kill her. <laughs> I said either way, he has to do that shit. 
But I think, the crazy it, thing though, when it when he got locked up, he got locked up like trying to like move some shit. No, he got locked up stealing his own memorabilia from okay. Vegas, right? From right. Vegas, okay. so, like yeah. somebody, okay. some, somebody stole somebody, somebody stole his stuff and sold it, and he went to go get his shit back. Oh, and they got him on theft. That by taking some other shit. Damn, 11 years for that, though? Like, yeah, because years. they wanted him for the murder. They wanted him for the murder. Yeah, we're going to figure out how to get you. Got you. Yeah, so that's pretty much what happened. So, hold on. OJ. Still on this topic, what do you think about how Caitlyn responded? What a weird bitch. <laughs> what a weird bitch. Matter of fact, seen how do y'all think about how Bruce responded? Right. <laughs> Nigga. Somebody, what did somebody say? Uh, damn, it's uh, funny it says uh, on you, Twitter. You, you too, Miss Doubtfire. Yeah. <laughs> you up next, Miss Doubtfire. That Doubtfire. shit was too funny. That shit was classic. Yeah, classic. No, um, and then somebody and then somebody reposted. That's why I fucked your. That's why you fucked your bitch. You fat mother. Some some shit because you know they say Chloe is, is his OJ daddy. is OJ. I mean, now that I believe. That's I that's his daughter. That's crazy. And then she's um, the only one with black features. Yeah. But it was crazy. It's like I, was, I seen something like on Shannon Sharp where they were saying like, you know, it's crazy for him, to, him or her to say that. And I think she went through something where she, uh, she was, she was in a uh, accident. Did you say him or her? Yeah, him or her. Or what? What's, that what, right? what, what's, what's, what's the word they use these days? Call her. her. Caitlyn. Yeah, Caitlyn. Uh, so whenever she identifies uh, as her. Yes. Yeah. yeah so um, she got in a car accident Who? and killed, and somebody died. I remember Caitlin. that. Caitlin. And did not go to jail for it. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. So they like, how can you, you know, have a situation like that where somebody actually dies, you don't go to jail for it, whether it's your fault or, your, or whatever. And I think it is her fault. You not go to jail, but then stay, still say some shit like that about OJ. Like he, good I just thought he, it was like, God damn, like, did you have to? That was just she, unnecessary. She, she couldn't wait. Yeah. She like, good ready. She, so probably, she, happened. Probably, she probably been tired of them, them saying things about how Chloe, his daughter, she probably, he probably been hearing that shit for a while. Mm. I'm sick of this nigga OJ, man. Well, now you gonna take my daughter from me? <laughs> well, I mean, you know, Bruce wasn't even in the picture. No, no, prior. I'm just saying, you know. Cause it was still the, she was but still they always just like a just like a joke they gonna t- always on Chloe like mm. for, for her whole life. Um, Lonely OJ. I did Lonely I did want to talk to you guys about something. What's up? Um, so I would be I'd be doing myself a disservice because you know I really think I'm a real ass bitch. So um, after further investigation, I do need to come back and like make a comment about what? Kevin Samuels. What? <laughs> What what homework did you so, do? So hold on, wait. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what homework you did to make you come to this Okay, so I went down a rabbit hole because I somebody had posted a video of him talking to some girl, um, or whatever. So I was like, so, you actually, so this is the first time you actually did homework or you just No no no. I just went and looked at more of his videos. Okay. And I do owe the late great godfather, whatever he is to y'all. I I, I take back what I said. Okay. Um, Look at so that. Yeah, yeah, keeping it real. That some of his, up, some of his stuff was, um, well, all of the videos that I did watch, I listened to like 10, that might have been like 10 that day at work, just mm-hmm. listening to them. Yeah. I don't know if it was the women that was calling in that made the shit sound, you know, made them sound worse than, you know, yeah, but it's, it's, yeah. he said some real shit. Okay. Like, he was saying some real shit. Like, I was listening to one episode, um, and I don't know how, I can't remember how old these videos were, but... I listened to one episode where he was talking about 26% of black women get married in their lifetime. Mm. Only 26%. I was like, excuse me? That means that's like one uh, one out of every four girls. That's like a friend group of girls. Mm-hmm. And only one girl at your friend group going to probably experience getting married. Um, and then it was another, uh, on that same episode, it was a girl who um, stated that she didn't want to be like, she felt like being a housewife was a slave and he ate her ass up. I looked at her and I was like, oh, bitch. You <laughs> just didn't really, too. Yeah, you yeah. just really ran out the gym. But all to say, Kevin Samuels, I feel like he was kind of. Before his time? Um, no, no, no. I just think he was. I think he was. Making more sense than you thought. Yeah. Originally. Yeah. But I feel like. That, I that, seen that he was kind of holding up the mirror for, for folks. Like, okay, look now. You can't be out here doing. Not to be done to cut you off. I feel like. People are now starting to come to that same understanding. Mm-hmm. That's why I say he was before his time because it's like it's new to social media, it's it's trending. So they kind of like how you say like when you say something like kind of left field, 
you kind of cut everything else that he out. says mm-hmm. out. You know what I'm saying? And so that's how I feel like now, like after people start to really like grow up and they like not grow up, but and like, that's what I was saying too. Maybe I, when I was listening to him, I was operating out of operating out of a space of my own little herd or whatever. But I feel like every girl like in their twenties, younger twenties, college. I think a lot of girls that was calling his show was like. It was some, a lot of them with college graduates or girls that felt like because I got a college degree, I deserve X, Y, and Z. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was he was spitting some. Sh- I'm, I I take back what I said. We appreciate that. I'm fuck with you, man. That's you a real, bro. You yeah. a real yeah. ass. You know, because I was like, let me yeah. let me come on here and say, you know, okay, bro. I'll take it back because he was saying some real shit. And like I said, maybe now that I'm older, I can also understand. Yeah. I mean, agree with a lot of the shit that he was saying. I'm like, yeah, But okay. shit, it was older women calling in, too. Yeah. It wasn't just young people. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. So, but. let me ask you this, though. How you, you still feel that same way about Fresh and Fit? Who? Fresh and, the Fresh and Fit podcast. Who were they? The one, the, them, them two guys that be in Miami. No, them niggas idiots. They idiots? They are. Is this the is that the one with the look? The but look? they be having like the girls in the round table and they be the two guys, the yeah, little Latin them, guy and oh, the black huh. guy. Yeah, I don't know. But I don't, see, they be, they be, so. Do they still come on? Not as much, but they already mm-hmm. got their following, so they still they probably still getting that money. But not this way. they they agree with a lot of stuff that Kevin Samuels was saying, right? Mm-hmm. But they kind of like it. It was like I feel like watching them. They were saying some good stuff, but the type of girls they was having on the show was like it was getting to a point where they was like looking for the girls that didn't know no better mm-hmm. to, to to fire them to, up. to fire them up. Yeah, but. It's a lot of times though they they was on, they be saying a lot of real shit too though but I just feel like it just be too yeah I didn't like really that, tap too into loud that like, that. like too mm-hmm. abrasive like it just be, you know I feel like the only reason what Kevin Samuels would go off is if you said some crazy shit then he'll retaliate with some crazy shit Ooh, like he, he if you came to him with some common sense he'll talk to you and regularly. it's so funny like looking at all his videos they all start the same it's like he's so sweet he's so nice mm-hmm. and then as soon as you say some wild shit you say some shit yeah like, what? cut that bitch clean up like. <laughs> Like I'm ready. He's like, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. This is my show. You call yeah. into my show. We are gonna do right. it my way. That's but yeah, good. all in all, recipes, Kev. Hey, recipes to Kev too, <laughs> man. Wherever you are, not hiding in your bedroom, not posting on social media, never going anywhere. But if you're really doing things that matter and you look good, heavy on the look good, take the bonnets off, put some makeup on y'all, like look presentable, men will notice you and they'll either say, oh, she too much for me and I'm not ready for that. Or that's exactly, I'm intrigued by her. Let me see what she's about. And he will pull you out of that space. So it's not a, so the options will come when you're ready for them, you know, but like we forget to get ready. We women think that hiding at home is getting ready. You're actually ruining yourself for a relationship because you're not doing any prep work. You're just teaching yourself how to be single. So what are you actually doing to prepare yourself to, ha- to be a wife? It doesn't just happen naturally. I'm sick of her ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of her. Cause who? Where did, where did she just wake up and just become? What's her name? Sabrina? What? Yo, I'm dead. Yo, what is her name? Is hey, you know what's crazy? I'm. I, I was, what? I'm, Wait, I'm looking. At, I'm looking at them comments from what we just posted. They they tagging the p. They tagging the p. They tagging the show. What's Shout that? out the show that was on. Uh, Josh Powell and I forgot the other lady name, but that's, that's a good show. Relationship mm-hmm. matters live. That's the name of that show. Shout out to y'all though. They got a great show. That's the, the one way. that was with uh, Lamar Odom, right? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, the girl. Engaged. That's the one that was with Lamar Odom. Yeah. yeah and they yeah. wouldn't make. They weren't engaged long. 
But anyway, forget her though. What y'all think about do you, do you, the girls that be feeling like you know I need to stay in the house? And I, that's I agree with her on to a sense. Okay. Like you stand in the house, I ain't gonna get you nowhere. That, and that's with, with that's with anything. Well, yeah. I mean, shit. Sometimes stepping out the door costs two hundred dollars each day. It do, but what I'm saying is, <laughs> but you ain't gotta worry about that. Yeah, if you if you going if you're going out to go find, oh, I get what you're saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. shit. You, yeah, I mean, hell. Well, come on now, you gotta you gotta pay to play. Man, say sperm. I mean, you and, and probably <laughs> and if you look good, you pull up. You probably ain't gonna have to pay that you much. You ain't gonna have to pay nothing. Somebody gone. Somebody. If you gone, look good and you sit at the bar. You ain't gonna have to pay. You can pay for nothing. Oh God. Um, I don't really got too much to say. That I just feel like okay. Um, I take it back. She was married. To Lamar, right? I thought they were just engaged. They got married. I think. Yeah. Oh, this half a served time in prison. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she got extensive history. Oh, I didn't dear. know that. She has two children. Okay, no, she was engaged to Lamar Odom. Not married. Mm. But um, sorry, I just had to look up to see what makes her so damn credible. But I mean, I I I can't really speak on because I don't really know too much about it. I just feel like I would the, just say like from my experience, just staying in the house doesn't grant you any opportunities for anything in life every time i be like i'm just gonna chill today right nothing happens right i get work done for myself that things i want to work on but every time i promise you y'all every time i leave the house and go anywhere and just talk to people i get new opportunities mm-hmm. every time not just talking relationships relationships business more money this that every time i leave the house i get a new opportunity so i know like sitting in the house ain't gonna get you shit. and of course I got the mindset. That's why I agree with her on the looking good part, right? Because I always say, leave the house. I don't give a fuck. If I'm checking the mail. Yeah. I'm gonna look, look like I'm gonna throw something on. Yeah. yeah. If I'm running the Kroger with this, this right down the street, I'm gonna look like something. I was about to say I was raised that way too. My mom always said like, no matter where you going, at least be presentable. Because she she also Hell says yeah. like, you don't never know what can even happen. Like you don't want to walk out the house with like, you know, you just don't never know. Man, you know, bro. I just no cap. I went to Kroger this morning. I jumped up and I was gonna throw some on. I said, no, nah, let me just put some on presentable. Put some on presentable. Walked in Kroger. Nigga, the security guard was like, "Oh, I know you. You BC. You on that too? Because I'm on a movie on Tubi. I know. I seen it. I forgot to tell you. <laughs> yeah. I forgot to tell you. He was you. like, "You on the movie? I just saw you. I just told my wife. <laughs> I told my wife I be seeing you in here. And the nigga took a picture and shit. So you know what I'm saying, like, just imagine if I had on pajamas and flip flops. Somebody just told me that they seen you on the movie too. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. I'm on the movie. I'm on the movie and two series on Tubi. But like, yes, now, I know. What, okay, what's the movie? The movie is uh, uh, Hood Riches. Hood Riches, and then what's the show? The show is Transporter. Okay. Yes, because I, I can't remember which one it was I was watching. I was like, oh, no, now. I had yeah. the pearls and shit like three, four times. I was like, is that me? Like, it looked yeah. like him. And then That's I got I was like, God. okay, that is his ass. But yeah, just, just saying that to say, like, if I would have left the house looking like anything, <laughs> this nigga wanted a picture, I'd have been looking crazy. Yeah, that's true. That's real. That's true. Like, you just got to be ready. I, it's, 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 is it crazy for me to say it's like kind of like like self sabotage? What? Like how women be thinking? That's like they, they remind me like this scenario of like women like staying in the house because I don't know the theory on that. You know, if you going off of just paying spending money, then that's that's one way. But it's like a it's like a girl. I seen a clip with her on Kevin with Kevin Samuels. Like um, I'm be I'm I'm being celibate. And he like. He was like, "What? Like, celibate for what?" He was like, two people that came out of you. What you celibate for?" She was like, "She was like, what you mean?" Like, she was like, two people that came out of you. Like, why are you celibate at this at this point of your age?" And she was just like, "Some guys let me know how to, you know, act right." He was like, "You need to just you need to give it away to secure a man." He was he was being funny, but he was like he was being real. Like, Damn. but that's just how I feel like that's how women be thinking. Like when guys don't act up, or when, or when they act up or whatnot. Um, or I'm not finding no guy that I feel like is good for me. I'm gonna just stay in the house. You know what I'm saying? That's how we feel like how girls be feeling. Like, I mean, versus just like, it, but it, you stay in the house ain't gonna it, get you it, nowhere. No, but it's just it's, it's too pressed about it. Like, it's hard opinion. though. It's hard going out and trying to find yeah. quality guys. That's the that's the thing. You don't try to find it. Well, I mean, but going out and. I know two girls that go out every weekend trying to find a guy. They ain't gonna say that's, they that's for the a problem. Guy, but they going out every weekend, you know, just and they ain't going out to like club club. They might go to like a restaurant or places where they feel like guys would be at or rich guys would be at and just eat it. I mean Do you know, sidebar, do you know that Neiman and Marcus has a bar in there? No. I think it's here. I think all of them got like No, like it's a full bar mm. in Neiman and Marcus, like 
a bar for women to sit at in the men's what? section. Yes, you might here. be right. It's here because all the girls I see on Instagram shopping there, they be having cups in their hand. That's, that's crazy. All of them, though, all of them though, like if you spend a certain amount of money, they gonna give you like a glass of wine. But now nah, she's talking about a bar. No, it's a bar. A she's talking about a bar. Yeah. Like. What? You think all of them got bars? I don't think like no, Gucci no. got a bar. Right no, no, saying, no, no, but just like, Neiman and Marcus. She's talking about Neiman and Marcus. Yeah. is here. Yeah, they have a bar in the men in the men's section. Though. That's the setup. A, a huge setup, but it's funny because if people know that, they just go to the bar. And be like, okay, y'all definitely can find a rich nigga in here. That's why ain't nobody with no without no money ain't going to Neiman's at now. all. But that's also a sales tactic, though. Nothing they said because it's like, what's going to get the guys to, to come here, or what's going to get you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They know that hey, we put some women in the bar in here. They already spending ten, fifteen, twenty thousand on this, that, and the third. That's actually hard though. A bar that's in the motherfucking fire. in the motherfucking clothing store. Like now, you shopping it's just the women that's going there strictly to find a rich man. Now that's kind of like crazy. But I feel like to me, I feel like that's how all women think though. And not to be funny, but I just feel like they're li- because they're they're trying to set themselves up, so they're gonna put themselves in position to get chosen. Hmm. Meanwhile, same reason why you know they they wait and the, they wait for guys that like NBA players, like it be girls like that be waiting at your hotel when you after you got done playing the game, knowing what's up, like trying to get chosen, like they just walking through hoping that dude just look to the right, be like, hey, what's your name? You want to go? Like yeah, most rich niggas if they go in Neiman Marcus and they see a baddie just sitting by herself at the bar, they gonna definitely, they gonna, he gonna, yeah, he gonna, gonna definitely something. say something. Yeah, they gonna say something. I got a question about something you said earlier about uh, how the girls talking about being celibate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do y'all feel like a woman holding out on the pussy in a relationship <laughs> hinders or helps her? I don't know. That's the question for y'all. Hello, answer. I think it. I think it. Um, I think it hurts her. I think it hurts her because I holding mean, out on the coochie hurt her. Yeah. We need. We didn't. We didn't. We, <laughs> We need That's to know uh, hold, holding on. Was it, oh, no, no. You talk, when you say holding on, you mean holding like, out. Hold like we're together. No. Or we are we talking? <laughs> we dating. And we're dating. Yeah. I think, so the um, ninety day rule is bullshit. It's bullshit. Yes. I'm not waiting. Damn. So y'all trying to you trying to fuck the first night? If it happens, it's about energy. If it's about listen, I'm not trying to hit the first night. I can't hit. It's I, not I like will, we're I will trying hit the first to, right? Night. But this is the thing, right? If you got just say you go on a date. I meet a girl. We go on a date. We vibe. It's a whole. We got a whole. It's a good Sunday. Like today was the mm. weather was perfect. We it go to a was fe- man. What we go to a festival. Such a great day. We go have drinks. Shitty. We go have food. We go do all kind of shit. And it's a vibe. And she's like, "What you doing? I ain't trying to go home. Boom, come to my house. We go home. Then we go home watch movies because we both in the movies. Yeah, y'all in the hunch. Exactly. Yeah. We end up hunching right That's the first awkward. night. Guess what? Then y'all end up having a fire year relationship. Mm. No, do you know where that story come from? What? It actually happened to me. It did? Mm. Yes. Mm. <laughs> that's, what I'm that, that's the first story you ever told on Spelton. Yeah. Like, my, my bro, my longest relationship was a one night stand. That one night stand means you don't see him no more. Well, what I'm, you're right. But what I'm saying is, we <laughs> fucked on the first night and it ended up in a five year relationship. Sometimes it, it just kind of depends. And then like, I'm my moral that, compass gets a little compromised sometimes. I'm like, damn, did I have to throw you the coochie that quick? You just got to use your discernment. I know. Yeah. Sometimes it don't be the greatest. Yeah. When you've been drinking and you feel a little loose. Exactly. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. about discernment. But I Because that's my thing. Sometimes that can be like you meet some niggas where they be like, uh-uh, she gave me the coochie too quick. Who else she doing this with? Mm. Yeah, it depends on the guy. Because no. I don't and think it like depends on how he view you. Yeah. Like if he genuinely like you before y'all have sex and then and then y'all have sex, it's only gonna like further that. But if he already looking at this as a I'm just here for a good time. Then if you give it up that fast, that's an automatic. That's, that's an excuse to treat you, to put you in that category. Yeah, I know. That's you what know I'm saying. That? But you, it's like you don't really know, though. If you have sex with somebody first night, second night, first week, you really don't know what somebody's you intentions don't. really you don't. are. It's really a risk. but like It is. It, it is a risk. Like, yeah. You really playing dice, for real. You don't all, really know. All the, everything a risk, though. It is, man. God damn. <laughs> but I, Walk I, outside and take a risk. But right. I'm saying that to say, like, I feel like a woman saying, like, putting a date on the pussy is like... <laughs> No, 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 no. You definitely don't put a date on it. Like, um, yeah, they said, I mean, Ayana Fix Your Life said 90 day rule. But even if you say she 90 said, days, she don't said, tell hold me, three don't, months don't, for the coop. Don't tell me. Oh, well, I would never that's say, oh, I'm you're saying. in a That's what he said. That's what girls be saying. Like, we not smashing. But get what? I'm going to be real. I'm, what? I'm going to be real. <laughs> that's, how, that's how you end it, if right? I'm dating a girl, we got energy. Like, the shit crazy. And she, and it's like month two. But it's like a push and pull tactic, too, though. I'm probably going to be sliding the other way. 
Or I might continue to talk to her. I'm just gonna if I'm talking to somebody else, I'm probably gonna just smash down until she that's ready. Crazy. But that's that's you fuck, no, no. But but you put you put us you, you forces that on us because it's shut like shut up because it's like <laughs> damn I want some shut the hell up. But it's like uh -huh. right, she's not ready. That just made my stomach so, turn. Nigga, look, you calling every night with this bitch. She putting up boot on you, and you try to go for the pussy. She like, uh, uh. <laughs> she keep moving your hand and shit. This three months in. I'm bitch, like, I'm, bro, out. I'm not finna do this, and I'm <laughs> and I'm spending money, but and I'm doing, out. and I'm probably doing everything. I'm doing all the manly shit. I just I'm, change your tire. I'm just, I'm, yeah, I'm I take your car to get oil change and wash. At some point, you just feel like you just got <laughs> me fucked up. At some point, you be like, damn, I feel dumb as hell doing this exactly, shit. Like, bro. what the fuck am I doing this for? For us to go go to and the And then crib, look, like, she finally let you hit on month four, and the shit ain't shit. Ooh, I'm boy, I'm livid. You made me wait all this time. We ain't finna be together. We that's so bad. That's what it is. So that's why I didn't know. And another subject, real shit. If the sex bad, we not gonna be together. It's just that. It's so. That's why it's you should just, just do that. it early. So that's what I'm know. saying. Get that shit out of the way. We can know. Oh, and you you know, and I know. You know, if I'm packing, you know, whether or not you know, it go both ways. Like, yeah, because even on your end, right? You wait. You you made nigga wait three months. But what? you know, and I a, think and you fucking a dick small. You stand there. <laughs> you stand there. Come or on you, now. Are you gonna like him for him? She kept. <laughs> I might like them for them. You might. You a damn lie, Ashley. You a goddamn lie. Mm. You a nympho. It, first off, you do not know. <laughs> Secondly, <laughs> um, but like. That's wild. No, answer that though. If you wait, if you make a nigga wait three <laughs> I was months. Say answer what? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look. <laughs> If you make a nigga wait 90 days and he fuck and the sex is trash, are you staying with Okay, so that's what I was that's what I was getting to. What what like when we say sex is trash, you, what's I'm the trash to you. part? Yeah, to you. like okay, that's what I'm saying. What's but, trash to you? Cuz to me it's something different, to him something different like. Mm -hmm. I I'm not asking you to tell me what's trash. No, I'm, I know. I'm, I'm saying no, I wouldn't be there. I wouldn't I wouldn't stay. Exactly. But I think things can be Okay, oh, this is why my not thing. I tell you what's trash. Huh? Well, why not say what's trash? No, no, that's I'm, what I'm, I'm telling her not to tell me right now what's trash because oh. yeah. all, we have our own trash. But, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. but what I'm saying is, like, if it's just like the sex game was just bad or what he came packing with was bad, like, you can't fix what you what you lack. What if it's something that's unteachable because everything ain't teachable? See, I feel like you could teach people how to, mm. but you can't. If you, how got, to if you got a little you, dick, you can't, you can't make his saying. dick grow. That's what I'm, well, yeah, you can, but no, no, mm. that you can't fix. <laughs> That you cannot fix. If he does have small meat, you can't fix that. Right. You make him wait. But what? Months. But my thing is like, what if it's just he don't know? You know, everybody everybody has different likes and kinks and shit. You're right. And it's something so you can't some work things on. you can't teach. Yes. And it could just be maybe the sex game is bad. Like you know, like say for instance, the first time you know you didn't wait three months. First time was like, oh, uh oh, was we rusty? Do we need to re do we need to revisit it? Mm -hmm. Try it one more time. See yeah, if it. That's cool. Was it a bad day? And that's what used to happen. You gotta do it again. Make sure that shit wasn't a fluke. Like, hold on. I know you. You you had a bad night. I'm gonna yeah. give you another chance. <laughs> Redeem yourself, cause I've had that happen before. Mm -hmm. So have you? Have you had somebody to redeem themselves and it was still the same? Okay, so we we'll try to redeem themselves. Ooh, I, I thought they was redeeming themselves. I, I hope this person don't watch this part. Um, so I had an incident where I used to fuck with this person. It was great. All the time, like it was, it was, you know, like clockwork. It was great. We took like a real long hiatus and didn't do anything for a long ass time, and we revisited again, and it was terrible. But I'm like, damn, am I now more experienced than than I was when we initially what, what, was doing it? What's what you what you mean terrible? Like it was awful. And he tried to redeem himself, and I said, came no. quick, or he just was yeah. Just, oh, that's just normal. Like no, 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 no. When we say quick. <laughs> <laughs> well, he probably was absent. We say, was, we say quick. I mean, quick. I don't know. I oh, think. it was. It was like, yeah. And he was like, man, let me, let me just let re, re, mm. re uh, uh. Mm -mm. He didn't re up the same night. He, he wouldn't. He, that's what I was trying oh, to get it. Uh, he couldn't oh, get back up. No. Oh damn. And like I said, when I say this was a, we we went years without, you know. So I'm like, damn, maybe I'm just older now, and. I like it a little different now, but yeah, that might be it. Oh, I felt bad for him. I ain't spoke to him since. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Shout that's out to you. I've never done that before, and I felt Shout really bad because I didn't know what to say. But I'm like, damn, well, no, you now can't I know. say. He knew, well, no, you he can't knew what say. it was. He did. 
that's why I felt bad. Cause it's like I ain't even had to really even say nothing, but you know why. But he ain't try to redeem himself. It's crazy. Yeah, I would have had to. Yeah, no, no he, she said he tried. She didn't let him. Oh, you want? No, he wanted to get yeah, he, but not in the same night though. He wanted to like, can oh, we reschedule back. this the next week or something? Oh, I'm like, no, nigga, I'm no. right there. We right here. Why we gotta wait till next week? But yeah, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, it sucks. It happens, but yeah. what y'all gonna talk about? What makes it trash? Or is it? What makes it trash? Well, for God, or what makes the hot pocket trash? I think everybody got their own trash. What's your trash? Yeah. You got something to say? I mean, all of it's gonna be like wet moisture, shit like that. But for me, it's just like for me, it's like a, it's about rhythm, like knowing how to like. I'm not saying know how to dance, but damn near, like, like don't be like it's just you know y'all know what I mean. Like, have, have, have some rhythm, like you know what I'm saying. Um, Why she got to have rhythm? What if she a pillow princess? She just like lay down. Mm-mm. We ain't with that. Damn, she can't. She pillow princesses are, mm-hmm. are not are not the thing. That's not praise. That's, mm-hmm. Pillow princess is praise. I like to catch a little. I, I mean, like yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I mean, I mean, no, no, I'm not Ashley. See, no, 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 it's cool, yeah, but I don't love, rely. I no. love. Mm-hmm. It's cool. It's, it's <laughs> oh, okay, but man. don't rely on that. Well, no, not you don't have to necessarily rely on it. But That's I, what I'm saying. Some know. girls is like when I be trying to make love. Girl, I'm, I'm, I ain't gonna cap the girls that look really, really good. Or pull up, mostly pull up princesses because they feel like they don't have to do much. Well, no, I'm not. I did, hold on, I did not say that, but you know, you got some moments. <laughs> I like your scary, so that's my favorite. That's I, trash. Pull like up princess is trash. I like to look in your eyes. I want you to gaze. I want a dinner and have a wrestling match. Oh hell no. I'm, I'm talking about this. You already tell us you be fucking on the sex ball. So. This yeah. WWE. I, I, I don't think about I trying you. that one time, too. <laughs> I ain't gonna cut. Hey, get you one. <laughs> think about trying that shit, hey, That's cut. too much. My gun ain't left yet. Jeez. Hey. Get you one. Now listen. Just to try some shit. I feel like shit. I feel like I'll be in WWE, nigga. That's how that's what I want. I want you to <laughs> I want you to be vocal. Oh, we like oh yeah, we like, yeah. Got the talk. Yo, be vocal. Don't not say nothing. Man, that's that's what make this you shit. You have to have music playing? I don't have to. I don't have to. It's been nice I ain't had no music. You know what's crazy shit? I don't fuck the Martin more than anything. Oh my god. <laughs> That's crazy. That's the go-to. Martin. You know, you know when you're on a day ship and you just see Martin come on, you just know what time it's it is. It's time, baby. <laughs> it's time. Gina. <laughs> I done watched Martin already two. I think I didn't I didn't cycle twice. Oh, they got like all this season. Times. Oh, yeah, yeah, Ten yeah. times. Oh, since it's been on Netflix though. See, That's I had crazy. it on um, HBO Max first. Yeah, I did too. So I was always watching it over there. But no, I don't have to have music. I don't have that nothing. It just depends on the vibe. Mm-hmm. But if I got time to set up music, I'll turn some on. I'll turn some shit on and then I'll get to I it. got a sex playlist I'll share with you. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Share that thing. It's got, it's got... Uh, you made it yourself? With, mm-hmm. It's with... You stay um, with the playlist. We have Harry and Billy Bob Thornton and the name of it make me feel good. Oh, remember, I need that. Remember, remember in that scene? I, when yes. She said, <laughs> yes. Monsters Ball? Yep. That's the first sex scene I've ever seen. And my dad had to hide the damn DVD. I mine was a black sex scene. I think what movie was it? it was something from the nineties. Love and basketball was for me. No, that wasn't no damn real sex. Oh, mine was fucking New Jack City. That about the same thing. No, it ain't New Jack City. I don't remember the sex scene in New Jack City, nigga. Um, um, you talking about when he was smashing the old girl that was dancing? Yeah, that's about the same as Love and Basketball, but I ain't no. I'm talking about like I'm the just saying that was my first scene, sex scene. Like, yeah, no, Monster Ball was titty. That, that was after. That's a movie though. That's probably why. Yeah, no, I'm with you. What are you talking what about? I mean, like that's like that's I mean, not movie. That's a. Uh, I'm sorry. You know, some movies don't allow that. Some like show do. titties and shit. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's, I'm just saying fucking. And period. then back in the day, like. Well, no, I mean the that's like the first time I've ever seen like a real sex scene in a movie. What's a like, real sex scene? Halle Berry titties was out, so and Billy saying, Bob was. You saying showing showing like titties? Yeah, okay. like not where you insinuating sex, like okay, love and basketball. Gotcha. Yeah, okay, we knew that. Yeah, they were yeah. under the covers. Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. you didn't see nothing. Like we seeing Halle no, revealed. Crazy, so I say that I'm, I'm from the Swiss subject. Crazy, and I was gonna bring this up last week on, on another episode. We were talking about Diddy, but it was a it was a story that I seen that uh, Gilbert Arenas had was was talking about how he was at a Laker game. He was at a Clipper game. Excuse you did me. talk about this. When she walked by them white men? But did I say that on the... Uh, yeah. I did? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That shit was crazy, <laughs> bro. I didn't know if I told y'all that shit, but I said, yeah, that shit crazy, though. Yeah, we did. Yeah. She was smashing uh What the white boy name? Uh, shit, she was smashing the fucking... The dude that's, that's dead, right? Killed herself. Hmm. Um, 
the the executive the producer Weinstein. Weinstein. Yeah. I ain't you ain't, I ain't tell you what we talked about I, the last think, episode. No, we didn't. I think I told you. I don't think I told on the show though. So give the reasons at the basketball game. Harvey Weinstein and like three other white guys sitting like courtside. Mm. So, but so like, but they kind of like they're sitting like the row behind court, behind I guess the bench. Mm-hmm. So he can oh he can hear, you know, that conversation. Holly Berry walks courtside to go to her seat, walks walks straight past them. All of a sudden, Gilbert Arenas here, uh, Harvey Weinstein say, "Damn, she she on uh she don't see us sitting over here. She ain't gonna sit down to us. She wasn't saying all that when she wanted them them scenes." <laughs> She 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 one one of the roles, and Gilbert Arenas was like he he was saying like his head he was like no, not Holly Berry. Like, he was troll. like I was like it's crazy, but it's like these people be fucking for these roles, bro. They will they will fuck suck whatever, just to be in in in, in, a in, in, in a movie. bro. Hollywood is a scary place. And if she doing that, what you think everybody else doing? Like, and this this a female. I mean, that's that's fucked up on her part. But like, what? That's why I'm glad with my acting career. I don't really need it. I, I love it. and I want to do it, but I don't like. I think with them, they they, they that's how they pay their bills. Like, I need this role. I gotta pay yeah. my bills. I gotta. That's when kids. you be moving to L. A. Just for that. Yeah, you, when you, when, you, you, when that's no all you got, that's when you gonna do things like you're that. Back against the wall. That's when you yeah. gonna like. Yeah, you never catch me wearing a dress. I'm never playing Miss Doubtfire. I'm never gonna be motherfucking Big Mama's house three. Oh, you sound like cat. None of that shit, cause I don't have to. Like I'm acting because I love this shit. That's and what I, that nigga Cat Williams said. He said, uh-uh. I be turning down roles now. Like nigga, I'm not doing that. No, <laughs> nigga, asked me to play a junkie. No, nigga. Oh. Um, yeah, last week. Yo, I got a, I got a role for you. What is it? Oh, it's just a, no. I'm not playing no fucking junkie, nigga. No, <laughs> that's real. <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, oh, I got some other news too, though. Uh, Kevin Hart's supposed to be bringing like fifty production down here in the next two oh, yeah? years. Yeah. Oh, it's lit. Fifty different production. One of the the one that we on now fighting. I I ain't realized, but he he executive producing that too. It's him man, Will Parker. That's his, that's executive producing that project. So I'm just looking at Atlanta going crazy. It with kinda, the movie it, what you just said kind of like. Um, Made me think about it because these these executives at these like Universal and these and these all these movies uh, producers, they be like giving people these roles. So it's pretty much like with the with the with the Cat Williams shit. We talking about Martin Lawrence with Big Mama Three. That's like the produ- That's like the Universal. Like, hey, we got we got Big Mama House Three. We are gonna give it to you. You ch- and we are gonna let you choose who you want to play these certain characters. And then he like, I want Cat to pl- play my. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how it be though. Like so, I was letting me know it's like same thing with with, with Kevin Hart. Like they give me you like we can give you this. We can give you a hundred million for 20, 20 productions. We gonna let you executive produce it. You choose who y'all want it. You know what I'm saying? So that's how they start to do. Like when you get to that level, they just give you like deals like that. Like Kevin Hart, they try to give it to um, Cat Williams, but he wasn't going for it. But um. But it just made me wonder, like, what what do you gotta do to get like them them type of deals, like, uh, when you can just be able status. to just produce whatever you want to, wherever you want to. Why Ice Cube ain't never get that opportunity? Cause he ain't put on no dress and he ain't sucking no dick. That's why. Yeah. That's probably why though. What you Cause, mean? Because people been asking him, the re- one of the reasons why he ain't do Friday after the, the next Friday right now is because he said he been pitching like the studios different scripts of it and they ain't fucking with it. They don't feel like it's gonna be as funny as much or it's gonna sell as much. But they also don't know the black audience. These are white people that he pitching these two. The people that's gonna pay for it. But he got the money. Why he just don't? That's what I'm saying. You should just shoot that shit yourself, bro. I think he would have been did that shit. Like, it's like a partnership. It's like it's like a partnership. Like even oh, though he I know got his own, somebody got on a, somebody is a he's in a partnership with somebody that own the rights to the name Friday. So I think that's why he oh. came with to shoot it. Oh, it ain't just him, oh, and they holding okay. nuts. Damn, he said that on an interview, but I forgot who it was. So they holding they nuts on him. But that shit is crazy. But yeah, y'all got you got something I want to add? On any right there, any right there. You got you got a uh, corner. Check your meat, man. Wait, what? <laughs> no diddy. <laughs> <laughs> Which meat? What? No diddy, man. Check your meat. So, the FDA has just oh, approved God. the sale and consumption of lab-grown meat. So, y'all need to check y'all meat. When y'all buy y'all meat, it's going to either say 
Watch it. Watch it. Look at the back of it. It's going to either say cultured meat or cultivated meat. And that lets you know that it's been grown in the lab. Cultured or cultivated is cultured is, is uh, meaning it's been it's been grown in the lab. Mm-hmm. So when y'all buy this meat fuck? for my meat eaters, because I don't fuck with that shit. But for my meat eaters, I just want y'all to be safe. When y'all go to the store now, <laughs> check y'all meats. Mm. It's gonna say cultivated or cultured meat. That means it's been grown in the fucking lab. FDA just approved this shit, and they're trying to make it like, oh, we save the animals now. Now it's less animals being slaughtered, which is true, but it's causing more harm to us. As humans, mm-hmm. like that shit is in a, that shit is so much poison and chemicals and all kind of crazy shit. Like you don't you don't want that. If I had it my way, like I, I would tell everybody to stop eating meat. Period. But I know they're not gonna do it. So just be safe, y'all. Check y'all meats. And, um, yeah. Well, all right, y'all. <laughs> we appreciate y'all for watching another episode no of Diddy. Us Fucking Atlanta. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. If y'all got any questions, please make sure y'all hit us up in the DMs at Unspoken ATL. But we love and appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all please check in to our next episode. We'll holler at y'all next time. It's been real. We rocking with the best show in Atlanta. You I just really, too. Yeah, you yeah. just really ran out the gym. But all the same, Kevin Samuels, I feel like he was kind of. Before his time? Um, no, no, no. I just think he was. I think he was making more sense than you thought. Yeah, originally. Yeah, but I feel like that's, I seen that he was kind of holding up the mirror for for folks. Like, okay, look now, you can't be out here doing. Not to be, not to cut you off. I feel like people are now starting to come to that same understanding. Mm-hmm. That's why I say he was before his time because it's like it's new to social media. It's, it's trending, so they kind of like how you say, like when you say something, like kind of left field.